Hi there, I go by the name The Celtic Storyteller and welcome to this love reading which is going to be timeless so whenever you find it it's for you. Um, I'm going to pick three of these cards now for you. Pick a card and then I'll do a tarot reading for you. So we're going to delve into what your person is thinking about you, um, what they might be thinking about you, mightn't have said to you. Uh, let's see what comes out anyway. So you know you may not know what's going on in your real world the real world as such but we can ask tarot and see if we can delve in and find out some of some secrets that their higher self is willing to share with you so this is card number one this is card number two sorry and this is card number three uh, now i'll let you have a look have a think which one is going to speak to you and then we'll pick i'll put the timestamps down below Hi there, group number one, and let's see what your Nature's Whispers card is. You have Shift Your Energy. So this is all about, you know, whatever you're spending your time, thoughts on, you know, maybe isn't doing you any good, and it might be time to just put your focus and your energy somewhere else. So let's see how that ties in with your reading, okay? So let's get a row for what your person is thinking about or going through right now. So we get the four of pentacles, you know, which is kind of not, not really doing anything, not shifting. This person is not shifting their energy. Uh, knight of pentacles. Okay, so they could have some good practical reasons for doing that because the knight is about going on a quest or an offer. It's a very solid offer. Wow, and you get the four of wands. So this is often known as the twin flame card. So it is, again, about security, uh, security and love. Now, look, you know, starting off with the Four of Pentacles, which I always feel is often called greedy, but I feel this person has just worked extremely hard to get where they are, and they're not willing to let it go easily. And that can be a lot about just, you know, your security in life, and you don't just let all of that go. But, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of shift in what you're working on, because things get very stagnant if you don't change so maybe they were just getting into place where they were solid and secure before coming forward and making an offer. This offer of love, this, you know, is often seen as a marriage card as well. So this is looking very good. This is what your person is thinking about you, where their energy lies at the moment. Oh, and we get this. <laughs> and it's funny, look, we get these two twos, all right? So two can be about, about indecision, all right? But it's also about couples. So I'm going to get clarifiers for both of those, but I'm going to put those there and see where they lead us. I'm going to put that up there for you. So this is about having to juggle something. So this is where they're, how they're feeling, what they want to do. But then it's like, okay, well, maybe they're still <laughs> juggling something. You know, these two twos make a four again. And I'm just getting this sense of going around in circles, going around and coming back to where you started. Uh, and and the the driver for that is this indecision here so you see that card there you know that's not being able to make a choice but really you have to block off your thoughts block off your heart and just you know find a way to make the choice difficult choices okay what else do we have let's go a bit deeper okay and then we have a seven of pentacles which again is a very you know um these two are similar. So this is, you know, you've planted your seeds and you're waiting for the harvest to come in. So again, there seems to be this real theme of stability. There's love in the very center, but it's like they need to be stable before they make an offer. They really want to make an offer and be with you. And then they're like, mm, yeah, but I need maybe this other thing isn't sorted out. There's something else I need to work on. And let's wait and see how that comes to fruition, whether that, you know, um, uh, bears fruit you know so it's like there I just get this sense in my mind of going around and around and around again is that where you are at the moment with this person around and around and around and not in a good way okay and then here's more this is what you need to know so this is where they get to the point where they're willing to give and to receive you know which is good and sixes are good a good, it's good number as well I'm just going to get one more card and then we'll dig a little bit deeper so finally, maybe they just need to do this, you know, maybe they're just, you know, a bit slow in themselves and they do need to go through a couple of levels of decision making before they're completely happy and they can be in that place where they can give their love. 
and give of their you know security because you see you've got a huge amount of pentacles here so this is somebody who's very you know grounded and solid and wants things working well for them in their in their real world in their you know the physical world i think this one wants to come out okay so yeah you have the devil okay so you could be dealing with a um capricorn okay but not necessarily because i don't always call out the star signs yeah i do get that feeling of this person being bound okay and not particularly in a good way so if you're familiar with the tarot cards you'll know that these people here their their chains are quite loose they can escape if they want to and this card can mean a lot of different things for me and in this particular situation i see it as just what i was saying all along it's this loop it's this and you know normally i don't actually pull out this many cards but you'll see that this has ended up being in the middle the two twos and i do get that sense that they're just going around the block the whole time you know they're uh, there's there's something that they're you know they've been through it and they can't seem to make a decision they're trapped in this in this loop okay and i know i've said loop a few times okay they're trapped in this mental prison okay of indecision does that make sense to you they're trapped in a mental prison of indecision indecisiveness um i'm seeing balance so like maybe they're a libra okay again i don't know why i'm going for for star signs today anyway so yeah and they can't seem to even though this is what they want they just can't seem to get the ball rolling when they get the ball rolling they kind of come back around again so we need to find out a bit more about this so let's clarify with these cards here which is the druid craft deck um and i feel this is a really oh look there's too many they're all over the place what yeah no that's how i don't want to take those so this i feel is a really good soul deck for getting kind of you know really in-depth answers so as i said i think at the start i was saying you know maybe they're not contacting you and you know this would really make sense as to why if they're stuck in this to know this ever-ending cycle you know and maybe that's where shift your ender energy comes in maybe this is also really for them that they really need this this breeze this wind to blow in and completely change the landscape that they're living at the moment okay let's go into here now so let's get a bit more about the four of pentacles okay and we get the five of wands so maybe they're afraid that if they change if they change how they i suppose um you know because the fourth pentacles is about security i feel in your work life and your career and things like that you know your home and they're afraid if they make any changes to that in order to make you an offer that they're just going to come across an awful lot of conflict but five of wands is petty conflict see these only young fellas here they're just really having a bit of a lark you know it's not serious like they're not even scaring off the chicken there you know so it's an unfounded sorry that's not fair to say it's you know our soul cards are telling us it's unfounded it's not really going to be that much of a big deal but they maybe don't see that they just don't see that now okay for this knight of pentacles oh, wow we have the ace of wands yeah so there is this solidness to them but there's also a passion to them and uh, fire you know this really fiery passion you know they know they know that there is such potential in a relationship with you and you know i also this was kind of you know coming to me um, before i came on camera i was you know thinking about the sun now partly is because in fairness we're you know we have really a few hot days coming here in ireland and they're calling it a heat wave you know we don't get those very often um, but also the part of the sun that isn't just about illumination but it's about having gone through all the hard stuff in life you know because the sun is one of the cards that comes at the end of the tower deck and you know you see the sunflowers on them and they've grown up to come over the wall and it's like okay you have you know things things have been tough but you're willing to like grow as much as you can to seek that sun to seek the good and the happiness and the joy in things even when things are hard and you know i think you know somebody like this is also a hard worker and i think you know they have that in them they have that in them to grow and to go towards the sun which is you i wonder are you a fire sign if you're a fire sign that'd be interesting now um and I wonder, are they earth for some people? But you know, this is timeless and this is a general reading. So I really don't want to tie anybody down to 
uh, sun science okay here we go oh my gosh yeah <laughs> okay there's always this this is what I'm feeling now is there's always this little part of them okay they know the potential in something and you know they might start out being quite excited when they see potential in things but they're the type that never lets this go they're always they always want a plan you know it might even only have to be a small plan but they still want that plan so when they come to you and when they offer you their love they want it to be they don't want it to be just you know like off the top of their head and they want to have planned for it they want it to survive so they want to have a good they want to have good groundwork you know which the knight of pentacles is very much about that as well yeah yeah and i see um yeah look, i mean here's a love more you know more interesting too here in this card so i don't know if you see two little circles there you know so this is you as a couple together okay this is what's in the background this is what's in the background of their mind this is what i'm thinking when i see this card for you okay so this little child here is alone but their thoughts are with you so i hope that i hope that means something to some of you there now let's get to the crux of it these two darn twos that is putting this person into a loop what do we need to know about these two twos oh for the love of god i was just about to say if i get another two i'm going to curse but i don't curse on that so we've got another two and i just think this clarifies this for you um look the person you were dealing with god love them they just they can't make up their mind you know they can't like the two of wands is all about walking through this door this is an opportunity you know and ah sure look at their they're just bless them i don't know what to do i know what to do they just somebody needs to give them a good kick up the you know what to shift their energy and to move on to something that'll be beautiful something that they need i think that something an element they need something to come into their lives to get them out of what they're in now i mean i'm all for planning and practicalities but you know there's enough is enough okay so what do we have missing we have ones okay so we have the cups oh, for the love of god we have the two of cups missing in our twos here don't we and that's what you want you want the two of cups that's the two, that's the two that you want to see the two of cups is about love and friendship and companionship and at the beginning of love okay so they have this indecisiveness here they have this what to do and confusion and loop and then you have your kind of okay i think what they decide to do is all right i'll just there's one other thing i need to fix before i go to my person i get that kind of like so what is that what else are they trying to fix before they're in a you know a position where they feel they can um be more even with you come to you evenly and then they go back into this loop again but let's see let's get more I want to give them a bit of a shake okay this is not too bad at all you've got your ace of cups all right there's love underneath all of this isn't there there's love and there's passion and there is a i think a very kind consideration for getting everything right first and then you have your beautiful ace of cups so this is a potential again so you have passion and love potential in this relationship and they know it so even if they're kind of you know i think they within themselves if they're not driving themselves mad they know they're doing this for for the right reasons and they're doing it for love so what's this six of pentacles now is there anything else we need to know about that <gasps> okay you're getting some really lovely soul cards here for them we have the lovers okay and the lovers is a six and um, i don't know if i said choice i know i thought choice when i saw this because six is the lovers and it's choice and this is about two people coming together because they feel the very same way about each other you know it's a choice so you have love and choice so look why yeah so why aren't they coming towards you this is really what they're planning they're planning for this so it's what, what is stopping them what is stopping them what is blocking them please 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 tell me isn't that interesting we have five bookmarking here and here so five of swords is again it's petty it's five at five is change you know and there's kind of no winners in the five of swords even the person who's walking away with the swords isn't completely happy they know they've hurt somebody you know there's always like you know a winner and a loser you see even in this birds here you know 
and I just feel that maybe you know for certain people maybe there's somebody else involved and you know your person feels that if they make the offer to you that they want to that they're going to hurt somebody else and somebody else will lose out and you know other people around them will be given out to them about it you know and yeah they they, they don't want to do that to the other people in their lives something about your relationship about coming towards you there's something about it that they feel is wrong now this could be just a, tra a tradition thing you know so I'm not saying that they're definitely with somebody else but there's something else in their life that they feel you know is blocking them somehow from coming towards you and that you know something somebody is going to get hurt maybe they don't maybe they don't feel good about themselves and they don't think they're good enough for you at the moment it'll be different for for everybody else but you see the man in this card is quite mature you know so this is a this is a well thought out um doubt <laughs> if you know what i mean you know they've they've considered this maturely and realized that you know stepping towards you is going to cause hurt or pain to somebody that's that's really what i feel is happening here okay so i am going to pull you a few more cards now on top of that because i do feel this is very much i do feel that the the loop is real you know like i mean how much more do the cards need to tell us that this this too this you know this choice it's real for them and um i just don't see them coming out of it anytime soon immediately except for this this is what we need we need somebody to come in and help them shift out of this so i'm going to get some angel tower cards for you and we'll just put three more cards and see what we get you know i just i really my heart goes out to this person and to you of course but like my heart goes out to this person you know there's nothing worse than being in a loop okay here we go four of water oh look yeah they know missing an opportunity discontentment or boredom open your eyes to the possibility and i feel they know sorry i don't know if you saw that i feel that they know the possibility of being with you but they're it's more about not knowing about the opportunities just not being able to take the opportunity or like maybe Sorry, maybe there is a kind of an opportunity that they feel they, they could go for, but they block themselves then. So what else? What else do we need to know? And three of water. Oh, you think they were all in the all uh, what you call it? Um like the deck isn't in order, okay, if you think I'm just pulling stuff out like that. Okay, three of water. So this is, you know, celebration wedding. It's you know, the in the tower it's the three girls um jumping and dancing around together. So look you know, for me, the three of water is other people getting involved. It's not just going out and celebrating with other people. And I think, you know, maybe they need a bit of this in order to help them come towards you. Okay, no, I'm not feeling that. Oh, let's look. This one kind of is talking to me. Okay, and the night of water. Excellent. So, yeah, it's exactly what I said. They need somebody else to shift them so that they can come towards you. So the knights are, are on a mission. Okay, so the knight of pentacles is very slow. But the night of water is um, just full of romance. The romance and the ocean takes over, you know. So falling in love, wedding proposal, you know, an invitation to a social event. Oh, I don't know. I don't always read these. Like the, the night of water is that romantic night offering you the cup of love. OK, and look, at look, you got all water here. This is all emotion. This is all cups. So, yes, I think, you know, this somehow is going to come in. There'll be some angel friend of yours, you know, I call them angel because they're they're doing the work that's needed to help you to shift into love, to help love to come into your lives. Shift this person's energy, you know, from just missing the opportunity or knowing the opportunity is there and not thinking they can take it. Um, they'll come in and help this person move towards you, please God, okay? So this is what you need to hope for and send them love you know, in your thoughts when you're going to sleep and, you know, when you're, you know, in your dreams and stuff and, and just help them know that you're there for them if this is what you want. Pile number one, that is all I have for your reading. I really hope this helped you in some way. So God bless and take care. Slán Gafol, which is bye for now in Irish, and I'm wishing you all the best. Hi there, everyone who picked pile number two or card number two, should I say, and you get clear out the old. Now, yeah, some of the things that really grabbed me about this card is this timepiece here. 
you know, and sometimes it takes time to move just something different, you know, but also you get these keys here. So it's like, this is the secret. So also if you just see anything in here that, you know, um, sort of rings a bell for you or reminds you of your person, you know, this is then this is for you, you know, but we also have a little time piece here. So, you know, time is coming out much more clearly for me for this card than the message. Okay. And I often just go with what you know, pictures speak to me a lot more than words, which I know it's crazy because I also call myself a writer because I do write, so, but you know, actually pictures and symbols mean a lot more to me. Um, and wow, this is really actually, the way I've put it here, it's really shining clear to me now, like the sun, this time. So time, 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 time. Okay, so time, think time. Now let's see what your person is thinking and feeling about you. What they might like to tell you if they could um, then maybe they're not whatever situation they're in at the moment you know you don't know but you know what's on their mind about you okay so we get the seven of swords and oh we get the six of swords all right so yeah like that's a very running away type of thing isn't it running away with what you what makes you happy so look, I know everybody reads the seven, a lot of people read the seven of swords as a cheater, but I never do. So this is about um, finding a clever solution to a difficult problem, looking at things in a completely different way. It's also about taking back what belongs to you, but in a way that could be considered sneaky because, but you're doing that because it's the only way. Logically, you see it as the only way is to sort of get back what's yours without another person knowing, maybe, you know, because they're sneaking off. So if that kind of means something to you about your person, um, you know, and again, look, it's just right afterwards, it's like they jump in the boat then and they're moving away, bringing with them what's important to them. So in this card, it's the person's family and there's only six cards in this. So I just, I'm getting the feeling that they're trying to run away and they're trying to take what they can, but they know that they're still gonna have to leave behind some things Okay, let's get some more on this. Let's get some more on this. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. And there's the sword, the one sword that makes up the seven again. Like, I just feel that this person um, feels that they need to run away from something. This isn't you now, so I know this is how they feel about you, but this is a very much somebody could be somebody in trouble in some way um you know and like the ace of swords is really about clarity but i'm seeing this today now more about this whole something about their situation and like just once they make the move once they're brave enough they will get back what they were missing you know um but really to have the bravery to do that in the first place no, I'm not feeling that now, so let me, what else, what else do you need to know? I just don't believe it. I mean, look at the, like, I mean, obviously the cards are all mixed up, but we've got all swords here. Wow, the readings today, I'm all normally on number two, but they're so deep. They're so deep. Okay, and then your person, so your person is all in their head because swords are the intellect. And, you know, that's just going to wreck their heads. Whatever they're going through, they're, it's going to wreck their heads and they're going to need to rest. And I, uh, like, do you know what? I, I see this card. When I see this card, I see this sometimes as somebody contemplating leaving their family. You know, uh, uh, that's just what comes to me, right? Now, so I wonder, is your person, has your person got some family? Are they considering leaving and they have to leave without, like, their children but then they get their children back you know I, I look oh my gosh now look I mean I don't want to make it too specific it's a general reading you know remember this is timeless so this will hit you when you need it you know you'll need to hear this when you need to hear this oh, okay guys it's all going to be fine I before I decided to do the readings today I was thinking of this card the sun now you know I'm not trying to say it was a psychic thought in Ireland, we're actually going through a, a kind of a mini heat wave, so it's quite kind of hot. But you know, that was this was more a thought of when I was thinking of tarot. So you could say, oh, it's just because it's sunny. But no, this card came to me 
and what I was thinking about it was about these sunflowers here you know because the sun is one of the cards that comes near the end of the deck and you know so that's the story of the you know the fool's journey and like they've been through it by the time they get to the sun um but they managed to be so joyful and happy and you know this you know innovations where you when you see the naked people on the cards it's all about innovations and you know and uh, like dropping all your inhibitions and um you know being just happy to be yourself and but the sunflowers is what really hit me in my mind today was just like doing what you have to do growing as tall as you have to grow in order to reach the sun so the wall is really really high you know you could be dealing with you know lots and lots of conflict or lots and lots of issues in your life but you keep looking up and you keep getting stronger and growing stronger so that you can see the light and be illuminated and be happy and get what you want and be joyful now the sun card is also about children so it just i'm really getting this sense that the person you know for, okay for some people there's children involved and and that is why it's so difficult that's why they're all in their head because you know this is serious but I feel that, you know, I feel that they're moving away from somebody else to have you to come to the sun, okay? Um, to have the happiness that they want. And, you know, they'll have been through it now. They'll have absolutely been through it, you know? So here's my twos again. These were coming up before. Yeah, this is all more, I'm not gonna take these, but look, I mean, how trapped do you want them to be? Look, God bless them. They've just been through it. But let's get more, can we get more for the future? No, please, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Just, I feel, I feel sad for them. Okay, yeah. All right, so we have the Four of Pentacles. Now, yeah, so look, and this is another four, okay? So when they, you know, after this happens, I feel after they move away from what they need to leave, and what they want to leave and they're they're thinking you know they need a bit of time to themselves okay for this joy to come into their lives this is you um it's funny you know clearing out the old has a lot more meaning now doesn't it and time you know it's going to take time uh sorry i was getting distracted there yeah they they want to be in a position to support themselves and you or whoever you know and especially if there's children involved they want to be in a position a financially stable position to support themselves so if you're coming out this is a big change in life you know and then we have the lovely high priestess okay so this is you know intuitively you and them will know that this is the right thing for them to do even though it's hard and even though you don't know all the steps i don't think they know all the steps that they'll have to take right now they just know that they have to take those steps they know that this is what they want um they feel i would say intuitively that they want to come towards you um, and that has enough that's you know it's like oh, just kind of seeing two ropes pulling you know this intuition is pulling them through this whole story here this whole you know move and change in their life and um, you know I know I was seeing time a lot in this card and I just you know I wonder is there a symbol here that you're seeing now that I don't see that explain that helps explain this story for you and you know clearing out the old i don't that's not that's not click ringing bells for me clearing out the old but you can see the sense of the sort of clearing out something you know it must be a relationship that's not working out but there's possibly kids involved or something involved now look for some people because it's all sorts this could be a um, a business, you know, that there's a business that's a, their baby, you know, and um, to extract themselves from this person, it could have been a partnership, a business partnership, you know, it's going to be difficult. There's going to be, you know, they may not know that they'll get everything back, but they do, but you know, this is like set them back a bit. Okay, sorry, I don't know why I'm still shuffling because the next set of cards for you now are the Druid Craft. And we're just going to clarify all of this a bit get a bit more information this is the kind of soul information so um i mean that's a tough old journey for somebody to go through all right gosh love love is complicated isn't it now what do we need to know about the seven of swords please oh wow prince of cups okay yeah so it's like i was saying here 
like this you know intuitively it this is what is pulling them this is what's guiding them and so this all kicks off because they are on a quest to find love with you the prince uh, these are the knights in the other decks um they're on a quest okay and this is all about love you know and they're just on this the beginning of their journey here you know uh and it's funny that this you know knight is about to cross water and we have our water here so let's see about the six of swords six of swords they're determined you know they're so determined Wow, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning, a new pact practical beginning. It has potential. You know, the Aces are all about potential. And you know, they, like, they may feel like they're just coming out of the dark and back into the light. When they make this decision and when they move, they move away from, be this the relationship or business relationship. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. Oh, we get another okay princess of wands beautiful so there is passion and you know there's it's funny i why i just got a flash of a sword um for this okay um which is like our ace of swords you know this is this is a fight that they're bringing their passion to and i think that's how they get back this sword there's some sort of creative um oh what would the word be they're, they're inspired right to find a way to get back everything they might have initially lost when they made, made this break, when they broke away, okay? And this is the beginning of a new journey. Look at the road, you know, and they're so happy to be on it, you know, alone for the start, maybe, you know, they have to, this is something they have to do themselves. Okay, and then we have the Four of Swords, which is that's kind of the rest and recuperation, you know? King of Pentacles, yeah. So because they want stability, they want to be in a position where they can, you know, manage and afford the rest of their lives. You know, the King of Pentacles is a very successful CEO type of person, you know, and I don't think they want, I mean, they don't want to have lose everything. So, you know, they need to, they need to work out a way for their future life, their future happiness uh, to be built on something solid, you know. Okay, so the sun and the joy and you, what do we need to know about this? Oh wow, Prince of Wands, we have another, like, you know, another person on a mission, shall we say, you know, and then this is passion again. Okay, so, you know, we have the princess and then the Prince of Wands. So it's like passion and what they strive for and what they're, what they love, you know, um, uh, what like affects them deeply and spiritually it's growing like it's growing um from here to here you know once they've been through this you know so i mean and the sun you know illuminates and grows as well so this is all really good okay four pentacles okay the high priestess so this could be um you know this is all about tradition so this could be marriage i often see this guy here as the one who would uh marry his tribe you know uh, marry the people in his tribe and yeah so again that kind of solid commitment that stability like to be with you they want to be sure you know these two fours here that it's a stable relationship going forward because you can imagine if they've been through the wars here like they won't go forward without you know knowing that everything is in place you know, so a lot of practicality now here as well, isn't there? Sort of intellect and, and practicality, but passion. You know, we have our passion, we have our love here. Okay, so so you know, there's a, a good mix, good mix. Okay, and under here we have ah, oh, so we have the six of swords again. So again, it's just like I was saying, it's this intuition that is pulling them along the way, and I love that. See, and this six of swords, see, that's them going away. And that's them coming towards you. So, and yeah, I think they do have, they're bringing something with them, you know? Could be a child, could be, there's something they're bringing with them, okay? That they didn't want to leave behind. That's very important to them. So, you know, when something is very important to somebody, like, if you love them, that'll be important to you as well. You know, and this is a solid traditional person. 
I mean, this is lovely. It's hard, like, they're, you know, things haven't been easy for this person, you know, but they seem to be a very good soul. You know, they've got very good soul cards here, don't they? I just love that you're getting this here at the end under your high priestess that, that, that helped pull them along, you know, in this Prince of Cups. It's, I think it's lovely. Look, uh, hard for them, but lovely. Now, I'm just going to pull three angel tarot cards for you here. See, is there anything else you need to know? Like, uh, like uh, you know, is this happening now? Like, is it about to happen? Are they in the middle of it? Is it nearly finished? Are they nearly, are they nearly with you? Will they be with you soon? That kind of thing. Okay, six of earth, lovely. So this is, you know, the give and take card, you know, so that's kind of balance and I think in the kind of the questions that were in my mind, I get the feeling that this is, it's like on the, on the border. It's like all the, all the prep work has been done and they're, they're, they're like, you know, six, the, the six is that is where they start leaving. But it's also balanced between leaving and coming towards you. So it's not that it's going to take a long time. So we have our time again card. It's that if it's already kicked off here, if if they've already left somebody, they're already coming towards you. So it's it's in your now in a kind of a way. I hope that I hope you get, get what I mean there. Oops. Let's take this one here. Nine of water. Wow. So this is all your wishes come true. So yes, if you look at it that way, if you look at it in the way that they're actually coming towards you, these are all your wishes coming true, and this is happiness, and this will give them such happiness. So even though it's tough. They're happy that this is happening, that they're in this, you know, then this coming towards you. You know, it's like if the glass is half full, how do you look at it? Half full, half it empty. So nine four ten. Just one more, one more. What else? What else would you like to know? Should you know? And justice. Oh gosh. And that's very like, you know, the in a way, is no sorry, they're not similar cards, but just the two pillars, you know, they remind me of each other. And eight is, you know, in the other decks, eight is strength. So, you know, just kind of, you know, keep the faith as such. Okay, this is the right thing to happen. Justice, it was, it, it needed to happen. This is balance again. This to me is always about like, um, you know, when you look at somebody or when you feel you're going to judge somebody, you need to look at the motives behind their actions. It's not just what they did, it's why they did it. So very much like these two here, um, if there's something very important to them that they're taking with them to consider why they did that, like why is it important to them? It's a, it's part of the key, okay? This is what I'm seeing now, uh, sorry, seeing. This is what I'm thinking, okay? That about this key, the, the, this is key, <laughs> like this person or this thing or whatever is coming with them towards you is key for them, it's, it's important to them and you know so that like i was saying to you before i don't know if you're going to find it difficult if some you know if they're bringing a child or something with them but just understand the motives of as to why they're doing that you know and if it is a child and they trust you with that relationship with their child that's amazing like that's beautiful that they would trust you with with something that's special um if it's more of a kind of a business career thing People still consider that very, very important and, you know, it is a big deal to them and would be, require understanding, I suppose, as to, you know, why that was a big issue to them. So, look, I hope that that kind of makes sense to you. I felt it important to say those, you know, bits. Um, so, listen, that is all I have for you, pile number two. I really hope this helped you in some way. So, God bless and take care. Slonga Fold, which is bye for now in Irish, and I am wishing you all the best. Hi there and welcome to everybody who picked pile number three or group number three and you get intuition. So if you see any symbol, symbols on this card that mean something to you, this could be a further clarification that this is your reading. So lots of butterflies which can mean transformation. Uh, some people just like butterflies for the fact that they're butterflies, not anything about transformation. So look, let us get into the reading find out what's on your person's mind what would they tell you if they could you know what's going on uh, is their higher self prepared to give us any messages today now let me see okay so we get the two of pentacles so this can be indecision or it can be you know just struggling with a lot of things and really not being able to give anything your all you know so 
oh okay yeah so and then you get the four of swords you know so maybe there's just something in their life at the moment uh, that they're juggling with and they're just they don't have time to you know and maybe it's maybe it's their thoughts of you that they're juggling and they can't work out how practically to make it work you know but they're giving it a lot of thought you know um that's yeah so there could be something you know difficulties and you know if you're not in a relationship at the moment this could be some of the reasons why i think this one wants to come out yeah that they're um they're, you know they're, they're fighting off you know, people giving out to them or or you know or competition okay could be a number of things um i just I need a few more cards to clarify now here so uh, i'm getting a sort of yeah i'm getting i'm getting the feeling of of lack of effort does that make uh, um sense to any of you on their part initially uh kind of um like this is an excuse but you know something happens and they begin to see things in a different light and i you know i feel there might be a bit of an internal struggle as well um you know which they come out of successfully um yeah the emperor yes yeah, so i think they're probably i mean that's aries but you know i'm not really doing sun size sun signs yeah i get the feeling that this person is a little bit you know um they sort of have their own way of doing things look yeah they have their own way of doing things and it could have been because of how they were treated in the past and you know i do get the feeling that your person isn't really getting it yet they really maybe have their own things on their plate and they're sort of blocked off to possibly to you but not just to you if you know what i mean to other things as well okay but clarity comes in clarity comes in and that will change things let's see I kind of I'm starting to feel I, I feel a bit sorry for this person um there's it's not they're not being bad now they're not isn't a bad thing when I say there there's there isn't clarity here here I'm just gonna sorry I'm just gonna fix that camera because it's a bit uh yeah that's better um yeah my camera went off when I started this so I had to readjust it yeah I get that kind of oh you know they want to be victorious okay but i think they're, they're their own worst enemy and they're getting in the way you know but they finally cop on you know they finally understand what's been happening with them yeah the hierophant are the very strong you know this is um tradition and stuff and maybe that's the crux of it is that they're just way too traditional or just set in their ways about something and you know so this journey to you does seem like they're getting in their own way um i don't see any cups here i just yeah but i think their head is maybe more in this tradition but you know that's a good thing because this is also can mean you know somebody is serious about marriage so i'm so that's your first row and i have to say of all the groups it's not giving me a lot of information um about how they feel about you romantically so these are the soul cards and let's see what we can dig out here um so yeah it's like use your intuition you know like to understand what the heck all of this means um but again with those butterflies you know i think maybe a transformation is on the way okay so oh here we go okay yeah so now we have a bit of passion and a new beginning we have ace of wands so this is what they could be considering here or juggling here like i said is it a way to are they thinking of wait a way to come to you but i'm getting more the feeling that they're already busy with a lot of stuff but underneath it all they're thinking here of this you know how do i how do i present myself to this person that i care about to tell them that i'm passionate about them you know how do i let them know okay so what's the four of swords four of swords i think i think it's that one here and i'm feeling this one here for the next so let's take these two wow okay the magician we have this wand again so yeah this is them thinking about um thinking about how to come towards you and you know how to make this happen like they have everything they need to make this happen in front of them 
you know, I, but I just get the sense that, <clears throat> I get the sense that, you know, and this number one in the magician is coming to me, sorry, my throat, is I, number one me, like, you know, um, I still feel this is a very me energy, me, them, as in like they're, they're, there's something got to do with themselves. And this is looking good now, Princess of Cups. But you know, sometimes like, you know, sometimes themselves, it's, it's, they want something in their life. They want passion, they want it all, like, you know, and you know, this is, this is looking more now like what they're fighting for, what they're defending, that they wish for, that they want to be successful in, you know, is love. Because the Princess of Cups is completely unlike a lot of what's up here. So if this is what's going on underneath, underneath it all, maybe it's driven by this, this will for this new passion that they want to release this um, princess of cups who is, you know, if it's a guy, it's not the, a girl that's got a little girl inside him. This is um, all about, you know, the energy of masculine and feminine. So this is the energy of, you know, giving and believing and loving and knowing that there's this some wonderful, you know, this is a wonderful creative energy, but it's a wonderful loving energy. It's like she's just, you know, stepped out of the water and she's just ready to give all this love. So it's like this is bubbling up inside your person and they're they're ready to give, you know, but it's like in their how they present themselves to the world. They're completely unlike that. I feel there's a very masculine um sort of energy around them whether they're masculine, male or female or whatever, how they see themselves, they present themselves in a very, a kind of a very hard exterior, but underneath there's like passion, they're striving for something. They want to create this love, this, and they want to give, and they want to give to the right person. So I'd say this person is very, you know, if they like you, they're, you know, count yourself lucky because they don't like anybody, just anybody. Uh, and, you know, when they do make an offer, it's going to be serious. Uh, okay, what do we have? And two of pentacles is showing up again. So this would explain why I think they're getting in, in their own way. It's like, uh, you know, they're struggling to be victorious, to show this part of themselves, but then they, they, they get into that emperor mode again. So it could be like got to do with work, could be got to do with, yeah, how they see themselves, you know, they're, this barren desert behind them it's like they they block off love and you know this two of pentacles is coming up again so again i think just feeling that they're getting in their own way um you know but the advice of this card is to just be playful about you know decisions and 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 having to make choices so they feel they you know they feel they would be victorious they feel they here we go again the hierophant okay they're oh i've getting such a strictness about them you know um, so they may not approach you unless they absolutely know that this cup of love will be accepted. And I don't know if they feel that you will accept it. Feel that they're in two minds as to whether, you know, you're going to say yes. And maybe it's because of the way they've treated you in the past. You know, the way they've presented themselves hasn't been, you know, as loving maybe uh, as you thought it should be. But actually underneath it all, they have that. And maybe if you like them, you do see a bit of that, but you'd just like to actually see it. You'd like it to be more obvious when you're interacting with them. But again, we have the High Priestess. Um, I was saying in, in one of the other readings I did today, like I see this as the, the chieftain who marries all the couples in the, in the uh, clan and the tribes. And, you know, so they do feel quite strongly traditionally. There, there is sort of this marriage element, this stable relationship element in the cards oh look oh wow i'm going to take that first one the sun this is the card that i was thinking about today before i even started the readings and as i was explaining it's not just because we're we're coming into a little mini heat wave here it's because um you know the sun is about okay it's about children and illumination and all this sort of thing but it's also about i think the the, the realization that you just have to keep trying you keep striving and just be happy within yourself um in the traditional right away smith cards there's sunflowers in the sun and they just, they grow and grow and grow up above the wall to see the sun. So it's that like, just keep, just keep moving, just keep moving as, you know, Nima would say, or um, Dory would say, it's like, just keep doing it, just keep going for it. You know, the sun is success as well. 
and I think eventually here towards the end they find a way they find a way to explain how they feel um, to explain to you how they feel successfully maybe bringing some of what's underneath what they don't show usually certainly to anybody else and what you probably have had a hint of um, and you know I think when they realize that you know maybe you will feel serious about them back sorry for knocking my camera stand there it's so annoying isn't it when that happens um if you feel that um if they they realize that you feel the same way that you will um say yes to them then they'll they'll come forward you know it's a bit of you know a bit of ego but i think it's more not an ego in a bad way i think it's ego in a um really want to be sure about yeah just people don't like being rejected okay yeah and there we go the but I can never pronounce this card okay so you just but this is the um temperance card um so the Sagittarius's card although I don't and, and that's Leo by the way but I don't usually call out uh signs um uh, yeah no I no I don't normally call out signs because this is timeless this is a general reading for everybody so yeah this is about finding the balance again okay so they have and I think part of this balance is knowing how you feel so I think, you know, intuitively, if you kind of know, maybe you've been thinking about them and you think, will I reach out to them? And I kind of feel this is the type of person who would need a little bit of encouragement um, in order to express to you maybe how they feel. They'd also, I feel, just getting that feeling, you know, just all this mix up, but you know, like that's not very smooth. I just don't feel that's very smooth there on the top row. And, um, Sorry, I've done that again. And yeah, so I think that maybe like a little bit of encouragement from you if you get the opportunity. So sorry, I'm shuffling the wrong cards here. I'm going to pull another three from the Angel Tower deck. So this is the kind of final, what you might need to know about this, you know, something that's going to help you out. And I think, you know, from your point of view for this, it's like, well, you know, maybe do you reach out or like, you know, have they, if they've tried to reach out and you thought it was too small, a reach out or an offer you know maybe this will help you understand a bit more that that really that was the best they could do at the time yeah they're working on it but in a small way you know um but they're doing they're they're actively doing something about it they're actively fighting for you and maybe trying to think of a way to to bring how these feelings that they have underneath to the surface to show you yeah awakening yeah so look look at things from a different perspective so there is and this matches here you know they're working on it but i don't think it's coming to them easily i i think they've they're trying to see things from another perspective and they could be you know this awakening card it's like the hanged man they could be like this they're trying to illuminate their mind see all the light around their mind there they're trying to find a way and they're trying to see it from a different perspective. Maybe they realize the way they've been acting up to now isn't working, but they want it to work, you know? Like this the emperor won't give up, you know? Oh, there we go, won't give up, king of air. Like absolutely, you know, knows what they want and will go for it. And you've got your ace of swords as well. So you have very strong, powerful energy. A little bit of, I, know, I think I know I might, or like I know I might, you know, type of energy coming from them and you know but they they are intelligent uh, they are quite you know a strong character they're traditional um so and that's kind of what they need i suppose that's how they work you know people like that do tend to you know keep the passion and the the, the love language uh, covered up you know uh, but it doesn't mean that they don't feel it and uh, maybe they need a little bit of help in in, in finding the fun in love uh you know transforming a little bit um but yeah they feel that they will find a way to speak their mind you know they'll speak up they'll find they'll find clarity to tell you how serious they are about you they'll find that little bit of balance i think it's in them you know i mean look they're not they have lovely soul cards down here very strong but nice you know and um a good balance of everything and i actually want to draw one more card i just want to get one more card on whether you know is it a good idea if you do something to help to reach out to them ten of fire too much work except help from others life is out of balance yeah so this okay now yeah this is my up sticks and move away type of card there is 
you know, if you know this person already, you kind of know what's important to them. And yeah, like I think, but I think through, through something like that, through sort of the, the work or through how you know them, there is a way to contact them, but it's not like you're ringing them and asking them to go out on a date or go for a cup of coffee. It's more got to do with helping them with the situation that they're in. So like if there's some work connection or just, you know, information or like, I know you're dealing with X, Y, Z, here's a good link for, for that kind of thing. So yeah, but it's a not a very, it's not a very yes, yes type of, so if you don't feel comfortable reaching out to them, I think, I think they're going to find a way themselves. But when they do, then it's more about understanding that how they present themselves, you know, like there's a lot more emotion underneath what they might be saying or able to say initially. Okay, so that's all I have for your reading now. I really do hope that that helped you with your situation. So God bless. Uh, Slong of old, which is bye for now in Irish. And I'm wishing you all the best. What do you do when you know you've missed out on the future you were meant to have? I waited, and with the first breath of possibility, I jumped, sink or swim. <laughs>